Hi. What's going on, everybody? I'm just going to get set up here for a second. Got some questions that we're going to answer. Okay, can you guys hear me? Somebody please put in the chat if you can hear me. And then I'll invite Tegan. Okay, we got some questions. We got some questions. New phone, who this? <laughs> Everyone's requesting to join. <laughs> All right, you can hear me. Great, cool. Shall we invite Tegan Croft? Let's give it a try. Okay, Tegan is invited. What's going on everybody? How are we doing today? <laughs> Hello, Brazil. <laughs> Oh my goodness, we have so many questions coming in. I can't wait to answer them all once Tegan gets here. For those of you who don't know, we're in Australia. I'm pretty sure Tegan's in Australia too. And um, it is 11 a.m. So I don't know, maybe she slept in. Tegan. Leave me. Until she arrives. Um, who has seen the first two episodes of season four? And what did you think? I want to know what, what are your opinions? Oh, okay. Tegan's requested to join. <laughs> I invited her. Okay, I did just accept her request, so she should be joining us in any second. Hi! Hello. How's it going? Hey! What's up? Look, not much. I got back from an event last night, so I'm a bit tired, but I'm very excited Ooh. about the release today. What Ooh. event was it? Was it a Titans-related event, or just a no, different? No, it was a Louis Vuitton event. Oh, that's a little bit fancy. Yeah, Look at it, you. Was. it was really nice. It was so, like, it was right on, like, you could see the Opera House and the City Harbour and, like, it was not, Troy Sivan was there. Oh, I my God. Hi, but I was like, oh, my God, Troy <laughs> <laughs> Did you say hi? I know. Well, I didn't have any connections with him, so I couldn't be, like, like, hey. I had, like, I just watched him. And I Does he have Instagram? Him, we can invite him. Let's do it. Um, <laughs> so, um, I just asked everybody what they thought of the new episodes, and yeah, I'm trying to. Some people seem very happy, but what do you? Yeah, what have you seen? I think people are happy. I think people are excited. I'm. Just, I can't really see any of the replies. Yeah. On the feed. Yeah. Wait, I see just a lot of. Oh, wait, I wonder. Oh. There's questions. You can... Okay. Yes, there's a lot of questions. So okay. we have um, we have questions that people have written in the, in the chat here. Okay. Um, and we also have questions that have been pre-organized um, that have been sourced from fans. Um, so we can get stuck into those. I just wanted to um, just get a general vibe yeah, from the people. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I was looking, I was just, I was just impressed by this little question button. We can answer those for sure. There's a lot of those too. Yeah, we will. But let's get a vibe first. Guys, what are you guys thinking? Smash that like button if you liked the new season. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. Uh, All I'm seeing is people that are following and yeah, joining. Yeah, me too. 
Bonjour. They should get people to do this who know how to do Instagram. I assumed that you did, but apparently not. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. I don't do live. <laughs> um, I was right. seeing comments earlier before you joined. Um, oh, here we go. I'm seeing some comments. There's people just saying hi. Yay! As a rap Are you underwater? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you underwater? Oh my god. Is that... What is that? It's like sparkly snow. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, maybe we should get into some questions. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think so. I think questions Do you want to the right first before we get into questions? Or? Okay. Sorry. No, never mind. Um, okay. We've got some fan questions, and then we've got questions for you and me specifically. Okay. Um, maybe we should just get just go into these general questions first. Um, okay. What was your favorite part of filming season four? Um, I... You go first. Oh, I just asked you the question. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. okay. Uh, my favourite part... I don't know, I really loved the cast this year. I thought we just had a really fun time. Like, I feel like we just got in our groove, and my favourite part was just how fun it was for me. Yeah, I was going to say that too, actually. Like, Wait. all the group scenes, the, the scenes that we had together, where yeah. we were just, like, the six of us, around. yeah, or just mucking around. There's this one scene that... um. Um, I think I could talk about this scene without spoiling things. So yeah. it's a scene that, that's set at Christmas time and it's a very Titans Christmas and it's the whole, awesome. yeah, the whole gang's gathered together by the fire and we're eating snacks and decorating the tree and we just had a real blast filming that one. Yeah, we had a good time that day. Great. So much so that I think that a lot of what we shot that day was like just pretty much unusable just because it was us yeah. being silly. <laughs> Completely. And just eating cookies. I ate so many gingerbread men, and I, I regret nothing. I ate so nothing. many of those, um, the jam-filled ones. What are they called? Like the, the... I know what you mean. Were they like little tart things? Yeah, yeah. Little I don't know. Yeah. yeah, Crypto and I were just eating snacks the whole time. Yeah. Um, Good day. Okay. What are you most excited for fans to see in season four? I'm most excited then to see your stuff, actually, and and the Brother Blood stuff. But your stuff is really, like... But, um, Superboy goes on some really awesome journeys this season, like mental yeah. journeys. And physical journeys too. And physical journeys. <laughs> so he journeys and it's really, it's really, it was really exciting to read. And obviously, I like, well, maybe I was there, maybe I wasn't. <laughs> but I was just, I'm excited to see your stuff and I'm excited for everyone else to see it as well. And, and then also Joseph Morgan's Sebastian Sanger. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay, I guess. Yeah, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, he is so interesting. Really as well. And, yeah. well, let's talk about your stuff then. The Raven stuff, I think, is pretty cool. I think that um, having just seen, I watched the first two episodes last night, and the way that Rachel's developed as a character and, and how her powers have kind of developed, she's taken a lot more ownership of her powers, I'm yeah. noticing. Yeah, in those first two episodes, how she's doing a lot of, you know, dark magic detective work. I thought that was cool. Really? And, uh, yeah. yeah. I hope that doesn't get derailed. What do you mean? That, that confidence in her magic doesn't get I'm sure it's fine. Somehow. I'm sure it's totally fine. What are yeah, you talking about? It'll be fine. No, but you have, great, you have a great journey too. I'm excited for people to yeah, see that. I'm excited for people to see it as well. And, uh, okay. Well, know? quick pause, because someone just in the chat asked, will you marry me, Tegan? So can we get a quick yes, no from you there? Um, no. Okay, fair enough. Sorry. Um, <laughs> what would you like to say to Titans fans that have been avid supporters over the years? I would like to say thank you, because they've just been so, like, loyal and supportive and they're also lots of them are so funny and I have a great time reading their reactions and seeing them throughout the years you know like the series maybe 
sometimes dislike the series and it's just I, I appreciate them like just giving feedback and it's it's fun I love reading it what yeah I think this season is for the fans this one is yeah I, I feel like we we deliver in a way that the fans have been uh, begging asking for for, for for years and years and as you say, like those those loyal people who've been watching from the start, I think they're going to be really happy this season. A lot of the things that they've been asking for are finally coming to fruition. We're finally getting to see those things. Um, yeah. And a lot of people may not know this, but I, I don't know about you, but I'm all, I'm often lurking online. I'm reading a lot of the stuff, so I feel yeah, like all the time. a lot of the things that people write may they may not be aware that we do actually read that sometimes. Yeah, completely. And like <laughs> they're like, oh my god, the gods have answered us. No, I told them to do that <laughs> we read it and then we told them. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um no, but it, like it's so it's so important and i think that yeah as you say this season is for the fans i think people are gonna really love it i'm 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 gonna love it so yeah i already do love <laughs> it what was one of your most memorable lines from the recent season and what was the context Ooh. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of one. Um, I had a good one. Why don't you do, uh, I've got one for you, but I want to give no context. Okay. Drakkar Noir, you're welcome. Ah, uh -huh, yes. I like In, that too. I like that too. No <sighs> context. <sighs> yeah. For me. I don't think I had any memorable lines. You did, but what? The proper... I can't even remember anything. <laughs> the, yeah, the problem is once I memorize the lines and then yeah. shoot them, I just they delete. Got... Yeah, they're deleted yeah. from my brain. Um, Short term. Oh, I had so many good ones in that in that one episode that you just quoted. Yeah. Um, but let's let fans ponder that for a bit because that's that's fun. Yeah. That's fun noir. Noir. yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, some of these questions are pretty elaborate. Let's, okay, this one's, this one's good. Describe the season in three words. Mmm. Mmm. Titans, season four. <laughs> I think I'm going to say family, destiny, mm -hmm. and magic. Yeah. I'd probably use horror. Yeah. But destiny is a good one. Destiny or fate. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. That's really the overarching theme of the season. Yeah. Truly. Identity is a big one for me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Same. There's a lot of people writing uh, in the chat here, Azeroth, Metreon, Zinthos, so trying to uh, cast a spell on you. I can't I say it. I'm not a, I can't say it, guys. You don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> um, Franca really nailed it when she said it. I know oh, episode God, two. She says it so well. She says yeah. it da, 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 da. It's so yeah. good. And then I had to say it after she said it, and I was like, oh, Do I have to do it or like can you rub me in? <laughs> and I tried, <laughs> and I don't know if it ended well. <laughs> but yeah, I can't really roll my arms as well as she does. So if no, me, neither can I. I was like Metreon, <laughs> Metreon. Metrio. Uh, I reckon we've got, yeah, we've got like, no, oh, oh my God. <laughs> that was weird. Um, we've got 99 plus questions um, okay, let's, in let's the, see the top like Instagram this. live. Okay, who's so going to bite Raven or Superboy? This is so stupid. because This Raven is an ongoing fight. <laughs> you know what? I just read a tweet today that said Raven has, it, it's taken Shazam's powers, right, from a god overtook the four horsemen of the apocalypse, destroyed the multiverse, I think twice, or something ridiculous, and is the only, only being who can stop Trigon. <laughs> I mean, that all happened in the comics, but I feel like, in are we talking about, well, are we talking about Titan Raven or, or, or okay. comics Raven? Because it's different, right? Like, are, I'm pretty sure are. it's too boring. His mess has. Didn't he punch through the universe at one point as well? That's the thing that happened. Most characters do that. It's not that impressive. Um, 
Okay. Who would win? Between us yeah. and the show, though, I don't think... Yeah, whoever the right is the answer to that. It's true. Really. And <laughs> so whoever's nicer to Greg, the showrunner, gets to win. Yeah, true. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of, of smooth schmoozing. I mean, a lot of, and you've uh, got some great stuff this season. <laughs> yeah, it works. I'm, I'm just trying to get to the point where he'll write me in a scene where I beat you up, and then I'll stop. <laughs> and then you quit. Yeah, then I'll then I'll stop, and I'll I'll just be stop being stop really rude. Forever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Besides the one you play, if we go back for another season, I think we should personally request a, a scene where you just punch me in the face. <laughs> we should just request like an actual like, <laughs> fight, Moy V Raven fight, death match. Yeah, oh, or just like random, like every now and then, just a blow. Like we'll just be in a scene and just like, random. Each other. <laughs> <laughs> wow, these two or really the giants, like yeah, like but like real trying to kill each other blows, <laughs> like mm. yeah. That, that sounds so really funny. <laughs> um. Besides the one you play, which character are you most excited for everyone to see this season? Brother Blood! Woo! Yeah, him. baby. Sebastian Sanger. And I, I I just want everybody to know that whenever I say the name Sebastian Sanger, I, because I'm Australian, Sanger is slang for sausage, like hot dog. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I always think of you as Sebastian Sausage. <laughs> Sebastian Sausage. Sebastian I'm very Sanger. excited for Sebastian Sanger, Sebastian Sausage Man. <laughs> yeah, and working with Joseph was so lovely. He's such a good man. I love him. <laughs> I love you, Joseph, even <laughs> though you don't, he doesn't follow me back on Instagram. <laughs> but you're still, I still love you're still laughing about that. You moved on from that, clearly. It's just not that hard. Like, it's a follow button. Yeah, well, you know I, mean? I don't know. If you wanted he to, to he, does, but... he won't compromise. He won't. He's sticking to his integrity on that one. His integrity. Yeah, you're going to have to move on. I'm sorry. This is embarrassing for you at this point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Josh. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, why isn't Titans on Netflix? It is, and it will be. And we're very sorry that, it, that international so, friends have yeah. played long before. Um, but but this season... HBO Max, the six episodes. Wait, do you know when it's coming to Netflix, was that after the whole season or part one, part two? I really don't. I wish I did, but it's either going to, it has to be either what part one and then part two or the whole thing comes out after both parts have come out on HBO Max. So either probably like December this year, the first half will come out or the whole season will come out when the whole season's mm. come out on HBO Max. So like whenever that is, February, March next year. But very sorry that people have to wait that long. We feel your pain because we're also in Australia. We don't have any yeah. experiment here. We have to get a secret pirate who shall, name, who shall remain anonymous. Who's a secret a pirate? <laughs> a secret pirate. A spy pirate. I don't know what you mean. I fly to the US and <laughs> set up an HBO Max account and then watch the episodes. That's how I do it. <laughs> um, That's so good of you. Yeah, I know it is. It's very expensive in <laughs> plane tickets, but it's an investment though, because the show's worth it. For sure. Okay. Um, there's more of these. Should we keep going with these? I guess we've got to do this for okay. five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you have any hidden talents? No, but maybe I could just bake. I was going to make some muffins, so maybe like. <laughs> do you want to go and bake some muffins right now and then you can try them live and then we can oh no that'd be too oh no i haven't baked these muffins in a while i'll probably mess it up i don't that's a lot of pressure mm. but so it's not really a hidden talent it's more like a hidden no that's not that's just what I to do today. that's not even like a talent it's just my plans mm. i've got mm. cheese muffins got a recipe i use all the time <laughs> um, okay, let's okay. Okay. Guys, come up with some uh, better questions and then we'll answer them. Uh, these are questions from the, from the audience. They're great, these are they're, what, great, they're great. They're, they're amazing questions. And um, let's do, let, we can just keep going through them. I like these questions. Is Jason in the new season? Yeah.
is. He is indeed. Um, <laughs> some of these questions I'm gonna have to skip for reasons <laughs> that I'm not gonna say. <laughs> um, okay, let's go to these questions that have been pre-sourced from the audience. So, this is oh, from okay. Caden. Okay. This is from Caden Rose. Will Rachel be more powerful this season? Ah, uh, yes, she will be. In both of her powers and emotionally more confident mm. and strong. But um, yes, Rachel gets to see a different aspect to her powers, and then they they ultimately shift, which is exciting. Hmm. Cool. Are Raven's powers more energy based or magic? That's from Alexia Dare. Alex Ooh, Alexia. I like that. I think it's magic. I think it's proper, like, because she's supernatural. She's not alien. It's not, I think that's what it is. It's like, because her dad's like a demon. You know, it's not just like harnessing energy. I think it comes from magic mm. and lore or something. <laughs> yes. Someone yeah. called um, Brian Hill has asked, who is the best looking Titans writer? <laughs> um, wow, that's a really tough question. <laughs> uh, I'm going to have to say our episode two writer, Brian Hill. Oh, I was going to say Melissa. But yeah, Brian, Brian. <laughs> um. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. No, he no he's very really handsome. He's a handsome man. And, I'll see and he's got a great sense of fashion. He wears these awesome oh, like clothes. clothes. <laughs> um, are I you guys... Know, I, uh, sorry, I just wanted to mention, I'd love to ask you questions, but I don't know how to go. I can't, I don't have another device with me. What do you mean? Like, I don't have something to read the questions off of. I'm on the live. Um, I'm just reading them off my phone. The uh, little question mark in the bottom right. Do you oh, have okay. that? No, yeah, but not the um, the pre-planned. Oh, you don't have that? Um, like I have it on my email, but I don't have another device here. Oh, that's okay. I've, I can. I got it. Um, okay. Are you guys going to focus on Rachel and Gar more since they are canon in the comics? Does that mean? Them as a couple, a maybe? Or does... I don't know I what that means. I think that, uh, you know, there's a lot of canon couples in the comics. There's a lot. And I think that their friendship is very important to both of them. And so that is explored more, their friendship and dependence on another, one another. But also they become their own people and uh, explore storylines without each other, which is like a journey within itself to see, you know, to, like, step apart from a friend and, like, be like, we got this. Mm. Okay, cool. Um, will we get a Jinx and Raven fight scene? This is from the Ariana Moon. Oh. Uh, do we... No, we... No, she doesn't... <laughs> I was going to say, that's a cool... cool cool idea right but we would I, we would have loved to but no jinx i mean there might have been some catty eye rolls because jinx mm. is so infuriating but no, <laughs> no fights yeah she comes in with an attitude i think one of the great things about um jinx played by the wonderful lisa umbalavana is how her allegiances tend to shift depending on the situation and you can never really count on her hundred percent as an ally or as a, as a threat. You're not really sure where she, she stands and she's got that great kind of dry, sarcastic sense of humor. And she's always interjecting these little witty one-liners. And I feel like there's more of a chance of like a, yeah, like a, a verbal fight than mm. a physical fight, but a magic, yeah, yeah, a magic yeah. fight. You would, would have been cool. Would be awesome. Okay. And what does Rachel's future look like in this upcoming season? <laughs> um, 
Rachel, in this upcoming season, has a very big realisation and a very, very big change to herself and her powers. And so she just has to deal with that and learn again, like there's a new set of powers and figure out how she can make that work. Mm, cool. Let's see this. Um, I'm going to look in the actual the live chat for some more questions. Okay, cause... I'll ask you a question from the chat. <clears throat> okay. What's your favourite part about playing Superboy? Oh, my God. I love playing Superboy. Um, my favourite part... Um, I have to say, I really love how there's so much variation within him as a person. There's, uh, when you're playing Connor, you're, you're not really playing the same thing every time. He's, mm. he's always growing and changing and shifting and uh, becoming something or someone else and then kind of seesawing back to what he was before and then developing even further beyond that. And because he's such a work in progress and is his grappling with uh, those different aspects of his identity, it's, it's always fun to explore those things and you're never bored. Um, yeah. yeah. There's always something new or interesting going on. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I really love, I really love playing him and especially season four, there's a great character arc and a great journey for him that we get to go on. And it's, um, yeah, it's very exciting. Um, what was, what's your, what was your favorite, what's your favorite episode, do you think? Or like, what, what episode are you most excited about? Season four? Um, I think episode six. I'm really excited to see how people react to that one, just in terms of my character and mm, what he's doing. Absolutely. Because, uh, there's, I think it's going to really polarize people. The decisions that he makes and the way he mm. greets Certain other characters and uh, <laughs> he's so pushed. Fun to shoot. Yeah, he's he's pushed. I don't know. He's it's almost like he's he's cornered and he's he feels so vulnerable and traumatized that he has to react to that in such a violent way. And the kind of defense mechanism that he comes up with is is very grating to some people and mm. I think it's fun. I think I personally think it's, it's very fun and interesting, but um, I'm yeah, sure some fans yeah. may not feel the same way, but we'll see. Mm, we'll see. I'm very excited to see. Yeah, me too. Me too. Absolutely. And then I saw a question as well that was interesting and I wonder if mm. you have an answer. Uh, would you choose Connor Luther or Connor Kent and why? As a name or as like, a person. I, I think as a person. I don't know. That was just the whole question. Would you choose Connor Luther or Connor Kent? You know, it's funny because at certain points in the season, we actually did have to do that. We had to come. We, <laughs> in the script, Connor refers to himself or he introduces himself to people. And there were times where the writers and I and, and Greg, the showrunner, had to kind of sit back and debate and think like, how would he refer to himself in this moment? Because it could go one way or the other. Um, and the, the, the way that he refers to himself, you know, in terms of his, his actual name, it changes depending on what's going on. So yeah. who would I pick? Um, yeah, who's, who do you prefer? I don't know. I think, I think, well, they're the same person. That's what they are the same person. That's the point. Is that everyone has the like those through lines? These characters, like same guy, it's just focusing on different aspects. So it's hard to pick yeah. because both are like funny. It's just one's more like mm. like <laughs> harsh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, well I really enjoy playing the Connor Luther stuff, and we got to lean into that more this season. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, I'm going to open the questions again mm -hmm. that people are voting for, because we've got some. We've done oh, like Josh, most. Of Josh, the here's a question. Josh, Josh, please react to Dick Corey being our official and canon parents. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Please react. Um, How do you feel? Do you feel I feel great parents? about that. I think they're great parents. And they're Dick and Corey are, are, yeah, they are the parents. Like, there's a lot of talk about um, Connor's dad, Superman and Lex. But when it comes down to it, his real parents are the ones that he has and the people that he turns to. Raven. And <laughs> Raven not Raven. Not. Sorry, it's not. <laughs> Not Raven. Raven's like a sister, really, or an annoying pet. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but the people when he turns, the people that he turns to when he's in moments of distress, it's Dick and Corey, and they they are his mm. the parental figures in his life, and that really um is evident this season, especially mm. the the kind of pseudo father relationship that he has with Dick, and uh, yeah. we we already saw kind of bits and pieces of that, and there's some really touching moments. Like I love the scene where Connor's, uh, spoilers for, spoilers for episode two, if you haven't seen it, but where Col Connor's locked up in the, um, kryptonite jail cell and they both come to visit him. And I don't know. I, just find, I found that scene very touching. They, they're both there mm -hmm. trying to reassure him that, you know, it's going to be okay. You've done nothing wrong. We're going to get you out of here. And they're really his, his support network. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the questions are not loading. Oh no. Um, I have some more questions that. Okay, do some of your questions. Are, are directed at me. <laughs> if I should yeah. ask myself all the questions. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, this is from Alex. What's the biggest thing you have in common with your character? Um, I would have to say both Connor and I have the mental maturity of a five to 12 year old, <laughs> depending on the season. That's a lie. Uh, no, that's true. That's accurate. That's 100% accurate. Well, she's my real father figure. It's not even <laughs> Grayson. <laughs> I'd go to him in first. I think that's unfair to, uh, to, to your real dad. To Brent, to I do. my real dad, yeah. I do have a father, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. So I'm just letting yeah. the dog out. Yeah. Uh, oh, bring the dog. Let the dog join. Oh, uh, Elliot. Yo. Oh. There hmm? he is. There he, is. He, he doesn't want to join. He's not excited. Gotta leave. Oh, he's not I, interested. I think you're losing Wi Fi connection up there, too. Oh. oh. Um, <laughs> what else? Would you two be sad if the show gets cancelled? Um, That's a great question. Oh, Tegan's just buffering right now. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Me. Sydney Internet, am I right? Just what an inferior state to be in, New South Wales. Absolutely really? shocking. Oh. Well, um, while Tegan is buffering, I'm going to answer that. Would you be sad if season five, uh, if the show was cancelled? Yes, I'd be very sad. I've been very uh, attached to this role and it's the, the longest I've ever played one character in my life. So I, I, I have become very emotionally attached to him. And um, if this is the last time, I'd, I'd, I'd be sad and I'd miss him dearly. But um, by the same token, I really think that season four is my favorite season. And if it's the last season, it's a good one to end on. Um, it's a beautiful farewell to the characters if it is indeed the last time we get to play them. Um, so... If we had to walk away, I'm saying I wouldn't have any regrets at this point, but I, I'd still I'm be sad, yes. The same. I'm the same way. Cool. And you're back. <laughs> we I'm were back. just... Uh, I could hear you the whole We were time. talking uh, about your... Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's not... You didn't hear the stuff I said at the beginning about S Sydney and New South Wales and your internet connection? Yeah, you're buffering. You're buffering. No, you're buffering. <sighs> We're both buffering, aren't we? Just Australian white. It's a metaphor. Or something. It's yeah. Terrible. NBM, baby. Okay. Ah, you um, jinxed it. I see what you did <laughs> there. Hey. Someone just oh, told, told me the back. Oh, I forgot about that stuff. <laughs> what? Like, 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 Jinx and Connor had like, like a wink or two, right? That was fun. I tipped them. 
We have a couple of moments, uh, Lisa and I. I think it's flag. fun. He's not. He is too. Every new he girl we in. <laughs> no way. He's had one girlfriend. Every time. Like, every time. Are any oh of you guys God. good at bowling? That's a good question. Did, did you see oh, that? Yeah, it is a good question. <laughs> um, no, well, no, I'm not. No, none of us are. <laughs> no, Jay hit a strike at one point. That was the one strike at one time. He hit a strike, I remember. Ryan has, like, really good technique. Oh, he yeah. was doing he that in thing, but Ryan, he couldn't really get it. He was doing heaps of tricks, but he never hit anything. Yeah, he never got a strike. But he they had to use... He never normally. He yeah. just kept, like, <laughs> trying fancy stuff. He had some good spin going. Um, yeah, but it never hit like, the pins. What he was doing would have worked really well on bowling on Nintendo Wii, but unfortunately in real life, not so much. <laughs> You're so right. That is so true. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, none of us can bowl. That was, but it was such a fun day. Yeah, that was a fun was day. A great day. But the, the, the editing used in that episode was great. There were a lot of strikes going on that were really yeah, guttable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we went, woo! Yeah, and celebrate. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I love that scene, actually. I really like how that turned out. I thought that was a really yeah, fun scene. Too. What a great opener. This shows, like, our banter, chemistry, and, like, really shows what the show's about, which is, yeah. like, chosen family. Yeah. Um, I really did find it kind of funny how frustrated Nick, the director, was getting when we were shooting that scene. <laughs> Just because we were all talking. around him. And none of us were focused because we were all together having too much fun. Oh, and... I had a proper speaking to. And then Brenton got angry at me. <laughs> Stop it. I was like... Well, it's like when you want us to all be together having fun, we're going to be together having fun. And then right. you want us to work. Like, it doesn't, that's not how it works. Exactly. Right? Like, no, we're all supposed to be. It's not how it works. Yeah. Yeah. You get but I did, it. it was so fun. I'd like to reiterate how fun it was that we had because there are still so many group scenes throughout the season. Don't you worry, guys. We're a family. We stick together. And um, yeah, those group scenes are always so much fun because everyone was just having a good old time. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. Um, I like this question from Caitlin. Would you rather have Gar or Rachel's powers? Um, That's the lamest question I've ever heard. Rachel! Yeah, well, Yay. I think you have a, a bit of a bias going on there. <laughs> um, that's an interesting question for me uh, because I'm neither Gar nor Rachel. So I'm going to go ahead and think about my answer for that, um, if you don't mind. So um, just talk amongst yourself, Tegan, while I think it's of, so funny because he needs the break because he knows he's going to pick Rachel. So he needs the, it, he can't do it too quick. You know what? I've considered it and I think I'm going to go with Gar because um, so I could turn it. You know it. <laughs> I think uh, in all seriousness. As a gorilla. I don't know. Kill people with, a, with your, like without even touching them. No. Can you can turn you into a microorganism and someone with a virus? No, but I can save them from the dead. No. I don't know. I feel like crazy. Crazy. You know how many times I've, I've revived Gar Logan? And his powers did nothing. Don't I, you, um, isn't your power to, like... Christ, you would be dead yeah. two times over. So you're telling me that the I reason you pick Rachel is because she has, she has the power to hold somebody's hand and give them flashbacks of all the good times they've had over the episodes, and you then know, that revives them back to life. You know what? I want you to check back in. I want you to check back in with me in a few months and tell me if that power is not useful. Okay. I'll let you know how that turns out. <laughs> um... Okay. Um, Gar would be dead without Rachel. The comments say, "Yep, yeah, it's true." Yeah, he would. I think that Gar fans are going to be really happy this season. Yeah. Um, he's gonna. He gets so much more focus and a lot of great story, and I'm really excited for the fans to see that, as, along with some very interesting and new 
creative animal transformations. Um, yeah. That, that little moment with the tentacle arm at the beginning of episode one is just the beginning, guys. So I'm, I'm really excited for you to see what, yeah, what so else we have in store for this point. And, uh, oh man, the episodes are all very fun, aren't they? What's that? I'm just thinking over all the episodes and they're all pretty great. <laughs> Should we answer what's our least favorite episode? <laughs> yeah. Um, no, they're all episodes. That, um... I think what's the episode where it's all about like Brother of Blood and like not about me? Episode five. None of them. No, because we go in and there's like lots of flashbacks and stuff. That will be so awesome though. I'm so excited. Oh, episode to four. That episode four, you might yeah, be thinking of. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm excited for that though. Like. About me, obviously, I was like, yeah. but mm. that's gonna, but Joseph is great and Sprunk is amazing, so I can't wait to see that stuff. Yeah, all the new cast are just phenomenal. Yeah, Lisa, who else? yeah. Lisa Titus was great as Lex Titus. Luthor. I, he's just so badass in that role. I'm really, uh, what did you guys think? I want to. I, I kind of want your feedback on this. Like, type, comment. What do you, What did you think? In the like, section. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, yeah, excited for people to see Jinx. Oh. Um. Sorry. Oh, he gets back. Um. And yeah, Franca as Mother Mayhem, Joseph as as Brother Blood, Sebastian. Really, they they're just getting warmed up at this point. We have not. Yeah. Even scratch the surface Corey of that. Stuff. Corey, it's all about Corey this season, guys, as well. She's got such a big journey ahead of her as well. Everyone's going to mm. be oh. That's why one of the things I, I keep saying when, when I'm talking about this season, I love how everybody has something going on and no yeah. one's kind of pushed aside. Everyone has their own Everyone's together. Own yeah, Everyone has a thing going on and then we talk to each other about it as well, which is cool. You know what I mean? <laughs> like... We see yeah. each other still. There's yeah. a lot of team team scenes. There's a lot of yeah. team action. There's just uh, a lot of that good stuff that you guys yeah. have been asking for. Well, that good stuff. <laughs> <sighs> so exciting. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. I'm really excited for you guys to see 4. I think 4 is going to be like a big episode, right? Is that like that's a big episode? Oh, it's that's massive. That's like a big reveal, I'm isn't it? I'm really curious to see how that turned out because I remember shooting it was so just difficult Crazy. and, you tell and them grueling. We shot it. We can tell that we shot it in an old penitentiary, an old jail. Yeah, Kingston yeah, Penitentiary, prison. which is a which legitimately is haunted prison. Oh my God, so scary, so uh, spooky. <laughs> I got spooked when we were shooting there. <laughs> no, <laughs> that was fun. Brian brought his um, he brought his like diffuser thing, and he was like disinfecting the evil spirits around the set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if Ryan wasn't there, we could... it. Yeah. yeah. It would have been attacked. So by... haunted, but thank God we have our shaman. Yeah, we do. He did a great job. He actually assembled that from scratch, collected like the feathers from birds in the wild and all that oh, stuff. Yeah. Oh, I remember that because you know what? He came up to me in the trailer and he went a little extra for you. I was like... Yeah. Because <laughs> you're especially haunted, that's why. Yeah, I get. Hey, Curran, what's up, Curran? Curran dog. Curran dog's here. Um. Oh my God, it's eleven forty-five. Curran, what are you? Uh, what are you excited about in season four? Let us know. <laughs> Everyone keeps asking about you, so why don't why don't you chime in? Let us know what's <laughs> going on with with Jason. How is old Jason? <laughs> <laughs> I go into the question section and I just get like the spinning loading. Oh, shame. I don't. Maybe it's your Melbourne Wi Fi. My Melbourne Wi Fi is fine. Thank you very much. <laughs> can you read um, uh can you read the question section? Yep, yeah, I'm gonna find one. Favorite okay. person to work with. Mmm. Oh, okay. Well, excluding Tegan Croft, obviously. Um, Look, number one, given. 
Yeah. Uh, I had some really fun episodes with Joseph later in the season. We have some like good two hander scenes where it's just him and I, and we got to really muck around and, and play with some cool ideas. And I got to witness firsthand the brilliance of, of Joseph uh, Morgan. It's of so the Joseph Morgan. I had a the couple of Joseph Morgan. Well. I had a couple one on one scenes with him as well, and it was always like magical. He is so oh, yeah. incredibly epic as an actor. <laughs> oh, Katie, I'm so lucky this show dropped on my birthday. Happy birthday, Katie. Happy birthday, Katie. Or belated, maybe, depending if you're Australian or not. Yeah. Um, I'm going to try and see if Karen... Oh, Karen said I'm really excited to see Superboy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you. I'm also <laughs> excited for people to see Superboy. Um, okay, let me ask another question. Um, I really wish these questions would load. When do we get to see Tim Drake Robin suit? Is he getting a Robin suit? Is that something know. we know? I mean, he's pretty crap at the bow stuff right now, so I don't know if he'll get it or not. Yeah, isn't his suit just like that bomber jacket and jeans? Is pretty yeah, much that's, that's his what he suit. That was made by Super Suits. Yeah. Special um, bulletproof. Cerulean Shadow. Any Tim and Connor scenes? Yup. We're gonna see some good Tim and Connor stuff in episode three. Next episode, actually, we get Woo! some good scenes. I'm actually excited for people to see those scenes because we shot some uh, some funny stuff in. Oh my God. Uh, what about they kept in that scene in, in episode one with the, uh, the, the seven? That's a Tim Con scene. Which scene? When the, the, you know, scene. Oh when yeah. The yeah. Seven <laughs> and, the, uh, the seven. and he has a proper laugh. You know what? Awesome. That scene where we're playing, you know, and yeah, Jay goes, boom, puts down the card. And I just call him out. You just put a seven down. That's a, that was a real uh, blooper that they kept in the episode. <laughs> put that in. That was improv. And Jack, that oh, laugh that she is a real laugh. Real. And the other thing that was, um, Jay laughs a lot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Another does. one was uh, when Tim jumps into the Porsche and uh, Brenton yeah. goes and gets him out. And you could just, that was also blooper. Brenton's a funny man as well. Oh so, my god, that a, one, that one, bit this season. that one blooper, were you there when he, uh, when Nightwing has the grenade? Yes, in the prison! Oh, that was, that was the funniest, I, I could not stop it. laughing for like 25 minutes after that. That was so funny. Uh, can we tell people that, that story without spoiling yeah, it? Yeah, you tell it, you tell it. So there's a scene where we're all taking cover because we're under enemy fire and Nightwing pulls out these grenades and he's going to chuck them over towards where the, uh, the enemy is so we can make a getaway. And Smoke grenades, did you say that? Yeah. Well, yeah, but they, the, the joke he made was that they, oh, <laughs> sorry. they were grenades, they were grenades. <laughs> So he throws, so one, one of the takes, he like, our feet by accident, <laughs> stares at it, looks at us, we're all looking at him like, and then he just starts screaming. <laughs> <laughs> just like, ah, like we're all going to die. And um, awesome. we all just lost it. Oh my God. Can you imagine? Yeah, we lost it. The whole that scene where Nightwing accidentally blows us up and we all die. Oh, oh my God. God. So we funny. I don't know. Fun time on set this year, man. That's a oh. What else funny happened, Grim? <laughs> um, no one's gonna get that. That's no too much of an injury. Never gonna get that. <laughs> uh, um, I don't know. What is that funny? I mean, funny stuff. Uh, I can't remember now. Maybe nothing funny happened. That's one of the questions that I just said. What? What? What oh! was? The funniest moments filming this season. Oh, okay. Um, God, I need to go way back. Oh, while you're thinking about that, how do you feel about Dick Corey being canon this season? 
everyone's always asking this question. And finally, this is the season where we can actually confirm this because you Oh my God, the, the romance is, is rekindling. You guys are going to oh be so God. happy. You guys are on set. It's very exciting. Oh, like, even us know. on set, when we, when we were watching them, those moments between them, when we were reading the scripts, we were like, finally, this is going to yeah. stop people from screaming and crying at us. Why aren't Dick and Corey <laughs> together? You guys are going to really love what's going on with them this season. Yeah, it's awesome, man. And, uh... Hey, Tegan, would you go to prom with Elias? Oh, no, you buffed Wait. Go again. <laughs> I said, would you go to prom with Elias? Elias, would you get me a dress? If you get me a dress, I'll go with you. There you go. The ball's in your court. Um, will Raven end up saying the Azeroth Metreon Zin Synthos line this season? Interesting. We'll have to see, but it's... The Azura, it's really, it's really interesting what they've done with that um, line this season. The, it, in the, the cartoons made that up. Like, it's nowhere in the comics, right? But, like, okay. the place she goes to is called Azura. And, like, there are small things where it's, like, she says it. And then after the cartoon, she said it more, blah, blah, blah. But um, I'm really, I'm really impressed with how that's kind of been woven, woven into the show in being kind of the cult um, chant. And it's definitely mm. something that Rachel knows about, which is interesting. And um, we'll find out whether she says it or not. Mm. Okay, interesting. Um, what is Rachel's relationship with Dick actually like? Is he a father? Is he like a father or a brother? Well, if you ask Brenton, I'd think he'd say brother with his fingers crossed. But I think <laughs> he's like a father to Rachel. Brenton yeah. is one of those guys that just has like that dad mentality because he's had so many kids at this yeah. point. He walks around and talks and just behaves like he's like 45 years old. Such a dad, man. He's, he's like awesome. three years older than us or whatever. He's like in this, he's like 30, <laughs> what is he, 33 or something. No, the, the younger, 34, right? 31? Yeah. 34, okay. But he, he behaves like, like a 45 year old. Oh my god, he's always like sitting, making noises when he, oh, when he sits down in the chair. So many dad jokes. Like, so many dad jokes. <laughs> Big dad so energy coming. Yeah, so he's massive dad energy. And yeah, to Rachel, I think he's just, she always mm. wants to look out for him and he looks out for her and, you know, they just, they know that they've got that. Do you know what I mean? They can kind of take it for granted because they're so close. That's what I like about this season is that we don't have to talk about how close we all are anymore. We just mm. are close, and I really you like get that. to you get to witness the closeness. Yeah, I yeah. agree. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, guys, we have like five minutes left, and we've pretty much answered all the questions with the most votes in the question section, and all the questions that we had sent in previously. Um, is there anything else you want to ask us in the chat? or tell us about how you felt about the first two episodes or what you're looking forward to or what you're hoping for the season coming up. Um, we could Send chat about that. Way. Is Rachel getting a suit? Mm, not a suit, but maybe a nice little outfit. You'll see. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, five minutes, just to clarify, somebody asked me that, that we have five minutes left of this, of this live and then we have to, we have to get off and say goodbye, but, we have to leave. They're gonna um, us out of the Instagram. <laughs> hit us, hit us with those questions, guys. And those thoughts and feelings. Um, <laughs> when will Raven get her powers? She's already got her powers. What do you mean? Young Justice Connor or Titans Connor? Titans Connor all the way, obviously. No shade on Young Justice Connor. Though. I like, I like, I like uh, yeah, no. Titans Connor wins. Titans Connor dubs every. Titans.
assistant called me. Yeah. And he said that he privately. Patton's gonna solos your fave. <laughs> not really gonna see much of Donna at all in, in season four. Um, but on the plus side, uh, that means we get to spend more time with the characters that we have and we get to really develop and uh, see where the story takes those guys. Um, what was that other question? When will you see Red Hood again? This season, you'll see Red Hood. The live keeps freezing because Perth internet, but neither of us were in Perth. How does Perth internet affect us? That's not fair. <laughs> okay, guys, it's probably time I, uh, I wrap this up. Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, for all your questions, for saying hello, um, and for watching the episodes that are out now on HBO Max, episodes one and two. Uh, I'm really, really proud of this season, and I'm so excited for you all to see it. There's many, many interesting and exciting things to come. Uh, I wish I could talk more about it, but I can't. You'll just have to wait and see. Um, if you have any more, questions um you can dm me on my instagram or tegan and uh might do some put up some more stories or do another live to chat about the episodes um but for now i um, just want to say thank you for all your love and support and uh hope you enjoy the new episodes bye